Closer to home tonight, police have charged a Howard County man in connection with his wife's murder, and they're still trying to determine what led up to her death. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager has the latest on the crime for us tonight. This is the second domestic homicide in Ellicott City in just the last four days. This in a county which last year had so few murders you could count them on two hands. Neighbors say 61-year-old Ronald McCandless and his wife Veronica McGinley were longtime staples in the community. And it was a request for a welfare check at their house here on Spring Falls Court, which led police there on Monday afternoon. Once they got inside the home, they found the woman dead in a bedroom. And there was evidence inside the home to indicate that her, her husband had killed her. Within a few hours, officers spotted McCandless sitting in his car a short distance from the home and took him into custody. McGinley's murder follows a domestic-related fatal shooting that was also in Ellicott City last Thursday, in which 32-year-old Samantha Marie Myers faces charges in connection with the death of her mother. Sometimes it's just a matter of these happened close to each other in terms of timing and there's no real rhyme or reason. Um, obviously our homicide count isn't that large in any given year, um, but when you're dealing with such small numbers, an increase of one or two uh, can mean a big increase in terms of percentage. This recent pair of domestic homicides brings the murder total in Howard County up to five this year, and last year it only had seven throughout the entire 12 months. Reporting in Howard County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.